What's going on guys and welcome back to Jack Hammer Road to Glory. Had to make this one a live commentary. This is a big game here, the Big Ten opener. Minnesota against Wisconsin, the battle for Paul Bunyan's axe. It's going to be a tough one. We're here with the Gophers going against number five in the nation, Wisconsin. It's going to be tough, but we got to go get that axe. So let's get into the action, guys. All right, so the offense went three and out for us right away. But now we have Wisconsin pinned inside their five-yard line. Can we get two points here and get some momentum? Back to pass. The quarterback over the middle has a first down. Come on, man. We got to get in there, Jack. Anyways, now it's first and ten coming up. And we're going to play some zone defense. Usually that's what the coach gives me. Even if I want extra plays, it's pretty much always zone coverage. So we got zo we got a hook zone for Jack Hammer. Looking over the middle, perhaps. Going outside. Pick that. Come on, man. I'm not even sure if I've ever even done a live commentary with Jack Hammer before. It's a little different playing as a linebacker. Uh, I gave that pass up, but it's only going to be a few yards. And now it's third and short coming up. All right, we're looking run here. I'm covering the fullback. We got to get in there. Oh, he hurdles. That was a nice play. I, I got to give him props. That was a nice, nice hurdle. Getting the first down. I thought I could get through there and get a tackle, but I could not. And now Jack looking to blitz. Hopefully this zone coverage can hold up. I got to get some pressure, though. So, oh no, I, come on, man. There goes the running back, and that's going to be a big first down carry to midfield. My bad. All right, first and ten. Now a pitch outside, and Jack pushes him out of bounds. Nicely done. A gain of one on the play. All right, man in motion now. What are the Badgers going to do here? A little option to the left side. Pitch it back, and that was a mistake. Loss of six. All right, we got to hold them here. It's third down and long. You do not give up the first down on third and 15 if you want to win this ball game. So I'm covering the running back. I'm going to play really soft, but that's a draw. And we almost gave it up. Come on. I, Whatever. For They're going for it? I guess. They have no respect for our defense here in Minnesota. And so they're spreading it out, and we're going to be blitzing. Come on, Jack. we got to get some pressure. No running back. Yes, turnover on downs. And he's a cocky Badgers over here. Now we're going to simulate here on offense. And nothing. All right, so first down and 19. Come on, guys. Got to play good defense here after a holding call. Hand off to the running back and quickly tackled. Good job there by the defensive line. I'm not a very good run stopper, so someone's got to do the job over here. And now we're blitzing. Cover zero. We're going to man up on these guys. Come on. Got to get a good jump here. Hand off. Oh, Jack's there in the backfield, and he's going to go down. Tackled for a loss. All right, so third down and 18. I'm going to kind of play really soft. Because that's what I do here in zone coverage on third and long. I don't want him getting behind me. I'll keep it all in front of me. Come on. No, that's a guy I was supposed to cover. Not my fault. That's that's not my fault. That's why I play that's why I want to play man coverage. Because I can't see where everybody's going. I can't see the rest of the field. Uh Alright, first and ten. Back playing some man coverage, hand off to the running back. He's looking to break off tackle, and he's going to be tackled after a game of six. All right, here we go. We got Jack playing some uh, man coverage on the outside. He does a really good job, actually, but underneath is a, is a complete pass, and it's a first down for the Badgers into gopher territory. And so how, the defense, we're a solid unit, but the, if the offense can't score, we can't win. Probably sound like John Madden there stating the obvious, but come on. Hand off running back, and once again, quickly taken down. Good job. All right, they're spreading it out now. We got to get some pressure on this play. Bring in the guy, Jet Sweep, and in the backfield, there's Jack making sure he doesn't go anywhere. Loss of three. All right, so they're really bunching it up there on the left side. We got one guy over here, and what are they going to do? I got to cover the middle of the field, and oh, no, he dropped it. I got lucky. And then we turn it over with an interception after two nice plays on offense, and we're still scoreless here in the second quarter. Running some shotgun now, a man in motion to the left side. I say it all backwards because I say it from the offense's perspective. And now go in deep, airing it out towards the sideline, incomplete. All right, man coverage on the outside. Just can't let him get too much separation if he cuts. And we're sticking with him. He's going deep. Hammer, come on. It's incomplete. Okay, whatever. We'll take it. All right, so we're going to see just how bad this Gophers offense actually is. It's third down and seven out of the shotgun. Come on. We got four receivers out, back to pass, and step up in the pocket, and that's why we're so bad. So it's been a defensive slugfest so far. Got to keep up the solid defense. And, oh, they caught me there. They got me. They got me. They give him the first down. Okay, nice job there. I expected it to go to the receiver. All right, first and ten now, back to pass. And it's tipped. Pick that, you suck. 
Now running some no huddle with only 30 seconds left in the first half. Can the Badgers get something going? Hopefully, no. Please don't be offsides penalty. And that's going to force fourth down, but it's looking like an offsides penalty perhaps. Yep, thanks, Robert. So we'll see how costly that offsides penalty will actually be with the Badgers getting a new set of downs. Man in motion. And they're going to snap the ball here in just a second. And they're going to throw it. And pretty good coverage across the board. It looks like going deep towards the end zone. And it's incomplete. Second down and 10 now. Man in motion coming on my side. Quarterback making an adjustment. High snap. He's going to control it because there's no like botched snap animation. And then, oh, don't let him get too far away. They're in Minnesota territory now. Third and three. We're not blitzing. I don't trust us. All right, so they can still get a play and then kick a field goal, so I got to make sure I don't drop back too far. Oh, a sack. There we go. Fourth and ten, and we probably do nothing with our opportunity here. How do we, how'd they already get the ball back? Three seconds. See ya. I'm going to the end zone. Fourth down and five. We can't go up to get big play here, or we are asking to lose. Where's the ball going? I can't see the spot. Give... Don't catch that. Thank you. Okay. Anyway. Wait, they just went for it. We didn't actually get the ball. My bad. He's hurt. All right. So in the second half now, still no score here between Wisconsin and Minnesota. And it's a nice run there for the running back. Nine yards. But we've been playing pretty good defense all day. And now, why are we playing like a goal line defense here? Anyways. Second down and one. They're going to audible. Oh, man. We got to use a timeout here. I called the timeout there because I did not like the formation against what they were audibling to. Had to make that adjustment. That's the middle linebacker's job right there to make that call. So second down and one. Come on. Hand the ball off the middle. And Jack is there to help stuff the running back and it gained about half a yard. Can we hold him on third and inches? Maybe a sack? They're going to throw it. And to the outside. That's a complete pass for a first down. Anyways, now first and ten. Hand off. Nope, it's a play action. Going to the middle. Complete in the Minnesota Territory again. First down, Badgers. How is that bad zone coverage on me? I'm not at fault. All right, so maybe they're going to run the ball this time. No, they're going to throw it. Looking towards the left side. He beat his man, and that's going to be a first down inside the red zone now. This has been the best opportunity all game for either team to put points on the board. And so can the Gophers get a lucky turnover or something here to negate this possible scoring drive by the Badgers? First and ten, man in motion. We're going to bring some pressure, hopefully, this play. Handoff, there's Jack. Loss of about two or three yards, or one yard, I guess. Second down and 11 now. Handoff back up the middle, up the gut first. Nope, not first down. We are able to stop his momentum and push him backward a little bit. So it's third and two. Maybe we can just hold him to a field goal here. It's still nothing, nothing here. Midway through the third quarter because it's five-minute quarters, I believe. Third down and two. And going outside, I went for the hit stick, but luckily there was another gopher there to help me out. Good job, guys. And so we're going to watch this field goal here. Maybe we can block it. We'll come off the edge here, Jack. No, go no going offsides, though. And yeah, right, not going to block it. And it's good, so the gophers are down now. 3-0. Hey, look at that. The gophers answered back. That's clutch right there. 3-3 now here in the, late in the later stages of the third quarter. Probably going to be a last play here coming up. Spreading the field out a little bit with three wide receivers. Back to throw. Going over the middle. Oh, man. Jack was there. Got to dive there for the interception. But we're going to go to the fourth quarter now, guys. Three to three. This has been a great game. Second down and four. They're going to run the ball. Jack in the backfield once again. Well, he's going to gain a yard, but still nice play. Third down and three. Maybe they'll run the ball again, trying to get their short yardage conversion. Or they'll pass the ball. I'm blitzing, though, either way. And so it's a toss to the outside, but there is the Gophers defense. Good job forcing the Gophers, or forcing the Badgers, rather, to punt the ball. All right, so the Gophers don't do anything with their drive, and now it's back to defense. Three points, guys. Come on, help us out. And that's a pass for a nice first down gain there, maybe 15 yards or around that on the play. New set of downs coming up. Clock keeps ticking. It's a tie game. What's going to happen here? Handoff now. It's going to go up the middle and a nice gain of about seven yards, eight yards. Gophers are the Badgers always have a pretty good offensive line, put out a lot of pro talent. Probably the best pro talent from this team comes from their offensive line. Not much for anywhere, other positions. And then second and two, the handoff's going to go for another first down. And now, new set of downs. They're going to throw the ball this time. And over the middle, and I wasn't even covering my guy. 
and they got the first down on the pass and so now it's getting it's getting scary here for us here in Camp Randall not for the Badgers fans but for us Gophers fans trying to get this victory here on the road as the underdogs man in motion and oh, Jack is thrown to the ground outside pass wide open seven yard completion alright so not on the field right now I'm gonna do okay I super simmed it's six to three now with that field goal I must have been tired or something and it's not looking good right now six to three Badgers a minute and a half to go we gotta stop them gotta hold them to a field goal at the most handoff and hurdle and first down wonderful so the Badgers were victorious once again over the Gophers. We gave them a good fight. No touchdowns even scored in this game. And the Gophers offense once again held them back from getting a victory. 9-3 win for the Badgers. 12 tackles on the day for Jack Hammer. But not enough to get the Gophers the axe. Alright, so now at 2-2, two and two, the Gophers have another tough test by playing Nebraska on the road. And hoping that we can get our first Big Ten victory of the year. But it's going to be tough. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.